vanishes. Who are you writing to? Just my mum. Tell her I'm, I'm all right. I'm being looked up. That's good. I can't see anything wrong with these bandages, but I'm going to remove them and see how well your head is doing. So what happens now? Well, now it's okay. You'll be taken out of our hands. I assume you'll be returned to a unit. <coughs> oh. Oh. I just thought. I hoped it would be over, that I could go home. Ah, private, you're awake. How do you feel? Stronger. Good. Nurse Ellen, there's transport to the rest area. We're leaving in an hour. See you at the private spot. But Nurse Watts, he's only just recovering. Surely he needs a few more days to fully heal. We do not have the luxury of time. It is our job to get these men back on their feet, back to their units. This not private. Once you arrive at the rest area, your unit will be informed that you are fit for duty, and you'll be given transport to whatever area of the front you are currently assigned. Good day, and good luck, private. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. I'd better get ready.
Robert, the young man who was here a month ago. He's, he's been killed. This is the letter from his mother. To the nurses of the General Field Hospital, number 22. My name is Abigail Marston, and I am the mother of Robert Marston, a private who was in your care within the last month. The next few words are hard to write, but I have received a telegram telling me that Robert has been killed in an attack on the 22nd. My God, that's three days after he left. Keep reading. The last word I heard from him was from your hospital. He said he was being looked after, that you were doing your best to keep his spirits up, not to worry, and that he would be home soon. I just wanted to thank you for what you had done for him, and to ask that you would write back telling me about his last few days. I miss him dearly, and just want to know what his last few weeks were like. Kind regards, <laughs> Abigail Lost. <laughs> As a nurse, I was somewhat immune to all the blood and bone, but nothing, nothing at all could have prepared me for what I'd seen here. There were bodies ripped apart by shell fire. Young men calling out for their mothers, the lives they've had torn up before their eyes. In fusillade, gunfire, and violence. My heart went out to them. It did. I wanted to stop the suffering. Each one I healed, I gave a little part of myself. Constantly. But the bodies kept coming. The men, the boys, they all came here needing me, and soon I had no more of myself left to give. The cycle of destruction was never ending. It almost broke me, Mary. But then someone told me something to help preserve. A little part of myself still remained. This is a job. We are here and we must complete it. 
the wheels of this machine will turn with or without us. Our purpose here is the saving of lives. There is no glory for us. There is only struggle. But it all seems so pointless, this never-ending conflict. I just don't understand. I know. I know. But you must go along with it. Don't you see? This is just the order of things. Soldiers will be broken, and we've been put here to mend them. There is no release, and you are not in control here. Just do the job for as long as is necessary, but think of it as it is. It's a job. A terrible job, yes, but a job. You need to protect yourself, Mary. If you don't, then the suffering will be a thousand times worse. And we'll be one skilled nurse down in this horrific, horrific ordeal. Do you understand that?